I'm John Shaneman in Port St. Lucie. After wicked weather rolls through, some residents are saying they're getting quite a few knocks on the door from people willing to help. But police say before you give anyone your money, be careful. It's still coming down in giant pieces. When nasty weather rumbled through the other day, the screened enclosure at Sal Vasilero's Port St. Lucie home turned to Swiss cheese. And I just had this rescreened about a year ago. Two vehicles in the driveway took some shots from the hail. Guess one there. As for his roof. With the tin roof, it sounded like uh, uh, people were up there tap dancing. Right after, he got several knocks on the door. By the next morning, we had three on the first day. Not one of them was from our area. And with hurricane season not far off, Port St. Lucie police want to remind you to be careful of all of these solicitations. After we've had some pretty bad weather, we'll have some people going door to door talking about quick fixes, talking about any kind of roof repairs or repairs that need to be done. The department tweeting out Wednesday a number of tips for homeowners, including verifying the contractor has a state license and whether they've had complaints lodged against them. Be careful for anyone who's saying cash jobs or anything that could be done like that. Always stick to the reputable businesses. Uh, busy because uh, of the roof leaks. Uh, you know, you have uh, water intrusions through the walls. Garcia and Sons Construction has about a dozen jobs going right now, and a few are storm related. They say a little homework can save a lot of headaches. Your house is your biggest asset. So, you know, you don't want someone to do a faulty repair or, you know, alter the structure. A Vasilero's been through storms before, so he'll do his due diligence. And after a hurricane, you get the same thing. And I try, I always keep everything local because these fly by nights, they just come and go. In Port St. Lucie, John Shaneman, WPTV News Channel 5.